cheesecake is a very classic dessert. Most people don't think of it as a savory opportunity, but I think that cheesecake really lends itself beautifully to savory ingredients. Did anyone take the lavender? And I would actually do a cheesecake that was all inspired by deep dish pizza. Wow. And the first thing that comes to my mind is Japanese. Wasabi, smoked salmon, and tempura batter. Wow. I'm not afraid of the savory cheesecake. That actually excites me more. The savory is a herb um, cheese and crackers, so it's kind of like a play, I guess, on a, a cheese and crackers. My matcha powder. My sweet one is a matcha ginger cheesecake. Definitely cooked for my life today. Graham, graham, grams. I've probably made hundreds of cheesecakes. For the sweet cheesecake, I'm making tahini cheesecake. So I'm taking it from my Middle Eastern roots. And then for savory, I decided to do a cheese plate cheesecake, marrying Stilton, pickled cherries, and candied walnuts. Hopefully, uh, I crush this one. Jennifer, how are you? Oh, hey, Chef Claudio. Tell me, what are you making for your sweet cheesecake? OK, my sweet cheesecake is a chocolate cheesecake. The inspiration is a walk through the forest. Some spruce tips there, I see. Yeah, yeah, I'm wow. just uh, in the process of candying them a bit. Beautiful. What are you doing for your savory? I'm doing a everything bagel with urban garlic cream cheese. So I've taken a pastry cutter and placed it in the middle. That sounds like a great concept. My only concern is time management. But if you can pull yes. this off, you are definitely one to watch. Thank you, Chef. Hi there, Colin. Today, Chef, is baking your thing? Not really. So this is going to be an extra added difficulty for you on this challenge. It is, yeah. But uh, I'm going to take it on head on. Good for you. I like that attitude. So tell me, what are the two flavors of your cheesecake? One is actually going to be a strawberry shortcake cheesecake. Me and my mom used to eat it a lot. Um, and then the savory one, I'm going a bit crazy. I'm going to do a uh, scallop ceviche with a pretzel and lemon cake. Wow. I love seafood, as you know. <laughs> so I've never actually seen or heard that before. So let's see if I can pull it off. It sounds like you've got some creative ideas there. Keep an eye on the clock. You. Good luck. Thanks, Chef. That's nice, Chanel. That looks good. Thanks. It's a nice color. Wow, it looks like all the home cooks right now are slightly behind. They only have 40 minutes left. They need to get these cheesecakes into the oven as soon as possible. Because not only do they have to cook the cheesecake, these cheesecakes have to come out of the oven and cool down before they can start thinking about assembling. OK. When I taste this, it doesn't taste like strawberry enough for me. You want a strong strawberry taste throughout the cheesecake. So I've got to add some more puree. Have you noticed that Colin is mixing his strawberries with his cream cheese? The strawberries pack a ton of water. That water is going to weaken the structure of that cheese. Look at how thin the batter is when he's filling the pan. That's a bit risky. Come on, Colin. Do or die time, he's got to get in the oven. Oh, Colin's in trouble. I want this more than anything in my entire life. My food dream is to open up my own restaurant. I'm definitely not going out without a fight. Good job, buddy. Stay focused. Stay You're focused. good. You're good. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Wow. All of these cheesecakes look awesome. It's like I'm at the nicest cheesecake potluck that's ever happened. Home cooks, now it's time to see how you did. Jennifer. Let's talk about the savory one. This is an everything bagel with urban garlic cream cheese cheesecake. Very original. Good on you for using that mold to create the hole in the middle of that bagel. Very, very ingenious. I actually quite like that. It really does have that bagel savoriness to it. The cheesecake itself has a very good palate feel. Very, very creamy. Oh, yay. Well done, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Jennifer, can you remind me of your concept here? This is a chocolate cheesecake, and I try to incorporate a lot of earthy elements. Ooh, it's a bit under. Uh, Let's see how it tastes, though. This is really great. Great control with all the textures. And those spruce tips blended really well with the richness 
of the cheesecake. Amazing. Thank you, chef. Come on, run me through this. The savory one has a lemon cheesecake, and then I just did scallop ceviche on top. I'm from Newfoundland, living in Halifax right now, so I'm just trying to bring flavors from there and see how it works out. I like, you know, innovation. I, I really do. Let's give it a taste. You're in the car business, right? Car sales? Yes, sir. Yes, chef. I'll be very, very honest with you. That's a wreck. It's not coming together for me. OK. OK? Yep. The textures, the flavor combination, the seafood. I like innovation, but I just don't think this idea works. OK. Hey there, Colin. Good day, chef. Let's talk sweet. The cake is a strawberry cheesecake. I made my own shortbread, and the crust is shortbread as well. I noticed that you went back, tasted your base, and added more. I wasn't getting that pungent strawberry taste, so I went back and just added every single bit of puree I had left. And here's what happened. Just a little on the underside. OK, yeah. But I'm really interested to see how that strawberry flavor comes through. Beautiful, fresh strawberries. That is so good. The garnishing side of things, needs work. Hope you get the opportunity. Thank you very much, Chef. Thank you. Hi, Chanel. Hey, Chef. Tell me about your savory cheesecake. My after-school snack growing up was always goat cheese and crackers. So I wanted to kind of represent that with this cheesecake. That's a very thick piece of crust. Mm -hmm. And I count four pine nuts, a little bit of prosciutto. Why so stingy on the topping? I think I was trying to make it aesthetically pleasing. Do you think that's aesthetically pleasing? No, not really, no. Well, let's hope this will please my taste buds. It's very, very light. It's fluffy. Well seasoned. I can taste the dill, oh, good. which is very nice with the goat cheese. It's a nice cheesecake. Mm. So here you have your sweet cheesecake. Looks like matcha. Mm -hmm. And it has a fresh ginger tweel, fruit salsa, some toasted coconut, and some macerated berries. Beautiful color. Flavors complement one another. The gingerbread, the matcha, the blueberry. Unfortunately, though, Chanel, mm -hmm. you've got a bit of a mess happening here in the middle. I can see it's. It's not set, it's actually pretty raw. It's collapsing here. Thank you, Chef. Regine? Chef, this is your... It's a cheese plate cheesecake. It looks like you have a lot going on on the top. I want to make sure it's balanced because Stilton's really salty. Unmistakably Stilton cheesecake. Big, bold, ferocious, quite a unique taste and balancing act. It's a shame it's a little rough around the edges. Up here you have it. Yep. You've just got to cut back. Rogine, walk me through this one. I did a tahini cheesecake with the white chocolate powder and meringue and a cardamom walnut crust. Well, what do you think? Uh, slightly underdone, chef. So you got the topping very fancy. Yep but you underdone the fill. Get your priorities right, okay? A lot is riding on the taste of this cheesecake. Oh. <sighs> your cheesecakes demonstrated a lot of ambition, but they didn't all work out as you'd hoped. But one of you stood out by wowing us with your creativity. Jennifer, that was you. Good job, Jen! Please, go up to the gallery. Good job. Good job. I feel like pressure makes diamonds, and these aren't, like, perfect diamonds or anything, but, like, I handled it. <sighs> Rogine, please step forward. No one has ever excelled in the MasterChef Canada kitchen by playing it safe. Unfortunately today, 
You overreached. But you just squeaked by. <sighs> oh. oh my god. Please go up to the gallery. Thank you. Good job. I don't want to go home. And I was so close. I have to rethink my whole strategy somehow. <sighs> Chanel, Colin, we carefully weighed the pros and cons that were on your plates. And tonight, regretfully, we have to say goodbye to... Colin. Oh, it's all right. Chanel, Please head up to the gallery. Good job. Good job. Colin, as a car salesman, I think you could sell just about anything except a ceviche cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> but we love your adventurous spirit and the way you honor your maritime roots. We hope you chase that passion and pursue a career in food. I want it so bad. Now come on up and say goodbye. Oh, Give us a hug. Come on, man.